This is Dr. Casorla, and I want to teach you a little bit today about annotated bibliographies. Wow, I can't believe it fit. Okay, let's say you're writing a research paper, all right? So here's your research paper, and um, you're going along, and you're writing and writing and writing, and then you realize, oh no! Where did I see that source? Well, if you had taken some time before you started your research paper to write your annotated bibliography with a summary and some information about why you chose that source, you would know what every source was about, and you would know what every source was for. So now, instead of wandering around wondering what that research paper was supposed to have inside of it, you can write your annotated bibliography. How do we do that, you ask? I'm so glad you asked. I'm going to teach you a tool that will assist you in completing the at least the citations for your annotated bibliography and it is the recommended way to do this in my course so I highly recommend playing with this learning it it's not that hard to do all right right now I have Firefox up which is the browser that I prefer to use with Zotero um, there's a little Zotero icon which I'm going to click which will open a little drawer. This is the academic library that I've created in Zotero and I have a lot of different libraries in here. Some of them are shared libraries. What I'm going to do for this example is I'm going to click on the folder and I'm going to create a folder called example. Um, so that you can see how exactly this works. So here's my example folder, and there it is right there. I'm going to highlight it because I want to make sure that everything's going to go into the example folder when I work on this. Now, in order to close this drawer, I'm going to again click on the little word Zotero down in the corner. Now I'm going to Galileo, which is the University System of Georgia Research Library. So. In Galileo, I'm going to put in an example search. Uh, I guess I'll put in King Arthur. <laughs> As you can see, I've used it before. So there we go, and I'm going to search it. I want you to pay attention right here at the top. Oh! A little folder has just appeared, and that is the folder from Zotero. So down here in the regular part of, of the pane, you're going to see Ruled by Merlin's Mirrors for Princes. You're going to see a little abstract right under that. Um, but if you click on the folder, you're going to just see a list of the books and sources that are available on Galileo. Now, for the purpose of this example, I'm going to hit select all, but usually I would go through them and decide which one I wanted and choose each one individually. I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see down here, it's saving to my folder. And if I open my, Gal my little Zotero drawer, not Galileo, my <laughs> Zotero drawer, you will see those sources load right into my library. Now I'm going to click on the top one and then I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the last one. That highlights all of them. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose create bibliography from items. Click. Now it asks me what kind of citation style I want to use. I can use any of these American Psychological Association, Chicago, um, if there's any extra ones, you can actually go into the Zotero uh, settings, and I'll show you how, if you would like individually, you can come to my office, or you can email me. 
Um, and you can add any citation style here that is currently in the uh, Zotero library options, and there's quite a few of them. Okay, um, I'm going to choose bibliography. I'm going to choose copy to clipboard. Yours will not have those automatically chose, chosen. Uh, mine do because I use it often. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to close this drawer. And then I'm going to open Word. All right, I have Word open right now. And the first thing I'm going to do is center Center my um, my words on the page. I'm going to put the words "works cited" because that's what you use for annotated. Uh, I mean, excuse me for Modern Language Association. Um, I'm going to make that a little bit larger just for the heck of it, just so it looks nice. Maybe bold it, and then I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to. Um, choose to go to the left. Now what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to paste. There you go. What you have just seen is me pasting without any video tricks. That was just really what I did. I just pasted from Zotero and what it has done is it's created this work cited on, on um, King Arthur that is pretty comprehensive for the number of sources I chose. It's all in perfect MLA style and also you'll notice that it's in alphabetical order. Um, these are things that are usually very difficult to do on your own but with Zotero it makes it very easy. Next I'm going to talk to you about how to create an annotated bibliography from this. Okay, now I have my work cited here, and I'm going to make this into an annotated bibliography. Now, for the purposes of our first assignment, you're only going to have to use five sources. So I'm going to get rid of some sources that I don't want. One, two, three, four, five sources, which is exactly what I need. I'm going to now um, begin making this into an annotated bibliography. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the button up here. If you see it highlighted, it says increase indent. I'm going to click on that so that it's clear that this is something that I am adding. It's my annotation. Now the first thing I'm going to do for my annotation is I'm going to create a one to two sentence summary of this source. Okay, so right here you see a summary of a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, the article that appeared in Publishers Weekly. Um, this is a summary of this source. Next I'm going to add a small one to two sentence paragraph about how I will be using this source in my paper. Now you can see how I have added to this annotation in order to include how I intend to use this piece of writing in my paper. Why this is important is because these are actually notes to myself. This is a research tool creating an annotated bibliography and it is not something you will be publishing with your paper at all. Why am I making you do it? because it's very important to know how to keep your sources straight and to keep good notes on those sources. An annotated bibliography satisfies this need. One of the last things that I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to make sure that I take work cited off because this is an annotated bibliography. Instead type annotated bibliography here. Now all I need to do to finish up the rest of this annotated bibliography is to repeat the process for each one of these um, sources. So I'll go through and complete this annotated bibliography by doing exactly as I did here.